Hello everyone, it's Michelle from Disney Bella. Um, it's a nice day here in New York. Pretty warm out today. Expecting a snowstorm, I believe, tomorrow or tonight. I don't know. It's been a pretty mild win winter here. So I was able to take my dog to the park again today. I've been treating him uh, to the park a lot lately because it's been a while since he's uh, been to the park. So off leash again, enjoying it. So today I'm going to be making cupcake soaps in these molds here. Should be fun. And I'm going to put an icing on top using my icing bag with um, a swirl tip or a star tip. I'm not sure which one I'm going to be using yet. And I have my colors already pre-mixed, yellow and green. I'm going to do the yellow and green, I think, for the cake part. And pink for the topping. Yes, I'm gonna do pink for the topping. So now I'm gonna mix my lye water with my oils. Just have to put my gloves on. Here it is. Thought I left it somewhere else. And I'm gonna be separating my colors into three bowls as well. I'm doing my laundry again today. I'm always doing laundry. Always. Okay. Bring you guys down here. So you can see. gonna blend my soap base too much because I don't want it too thick because the oils the fragrance oils that I'm using make um, the soap get thick very quickly
was interrupted. So I went ahead and I poured the yellow batter into the molds here, the cupcake molds. And I poured the green on top. I'm gonna pour more base in. to make it a mess here that's why I put the paper in the bottom of this um, container so it doesn't get messy I could just pick it up and clean it up It'd be easier A little bit more left over I could use for these cupcakes here.
it's the soap is a little bit thicker, um, which is the frosting that I'm putting on top of the cupcakes. I already did two. So these cupcake molds are pretty big. And it seems smaller ones, but of course I went for the bigger one. I'm done with the top of these. These four over here are for my kids when they cure. Um, I made a 10 pound batch, which I didn't have enough for the pink icing on top, but that's okay, I don't mind. So now I'm going to add these in beds, the butterflies, onto the top of the cupcakes. See here, the yellow one, the butterflies, they're pretty. Add them to the top here. I'm gonna try to zoom you guys in if I can. Let's see, or just bring you down more, a little bit closer. There we go. And put these invents on top, the butterflies. Bring you guys down so you can see closer when I'm done. really nice. I do need one more for that. There we go. I'm gonna add this one came out really pretty. It's gonna be very pretty and colorful for sure very spring-like, and I'm going to add some pearly white glitter. Should be fun.
pretty. See? The little aqua color of butterfly. And I'll show you the yellow one. It's pretty as well. There you go. And when they're cured, we'll take them out and we'll see what they look like. So I'll be back to show you when I unmold the cupcakes and yeah, we'll see how they look. They should come out pretty cute. I'm sure they'll be fun. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful day. Bye. Hello everyone, it's Michelle from Kiss Me Bella, Bath and Body Products from New York. There's my doggy. <laughs> He's sleeping. Um, it's the next day, the day after that I made my cupcakes, cupcake soap. My kids are home today, it's snowing outside. I'll take you guys outside so you could see the snow. Just move you guys around a little bit. And you can see the snow outside. Taking you outside to see the snow. There's my son. Hi! And there's the snow. So now I'm back and you got to see the snow here in New York. Yesterday it was 65 degrees out and today it's snowing. Crazy weather. So I unmolded one cupcake soap. See how pretty that came out? It is a green. The green didn't go all the way through over there, but it's my fault I didn't put it through. Okay. And this one here still has the mold on it. And I'm going to take it off and show you guys what it looks like. So I'll bring you down, so you can see. They come off fairly easy. Oh, this smells so good. So sweet. I'm gonna be making another batch of um, cupcake soaps today. Okay. Cute. Really like how these came out. It's my first time doing them. I mentioned before and I think in my earlier videos that I've been soaping for six years now um, but it's something that I didn't really focus on because I have a lot of products in my shop but soaping for some reason I just I'm in love with it and there's just so many things that you could do with soaping cute little butterfly very springy looking These weigh about 10 ounces. They are pretty heavy. I should have put my gloves on because I don't like, I don't know, to get the oils on my hands. They unmold perfectly, smoothly. The lines are perfect. them out and I put some glitter on the top <clears throat> my dog is walking around looking at me he wants to go outside with my son but he's driving me a little nutty so I'm gonna leave him in here 
hands on Logan. Look how nice and smooth that is. Beautiful. Beautiful. I'm very happy with these. Oh, so I don't know what I was saying. I think I was saying, I don't know if I finished, that I've been soaping for six years. I soap with natural colorants such as clays, um, coffee, turmeric powder, all kinds of different other clays and activated charcoal, which I still do, but now i am expanded my horizons, I guess you'd say, to micas and other colors too, which are fun, you know? And I get to do different designs as well. And you want to see my daughter? There's my daughter. Say hi. Hi. Look what I did. <laughs> yeah, she put hummus on her pretzel. Mm. There you go. I have extra, but I left those for my kids. So there. It's pretty. Thank you for watching.